you should be no stranger to the flat earth theory and and today i'm going to prove it to you with facts and you too by the end of the video will be saying i am a flat earther you can tell people you're gay you can tell people you're christian you can tell people i'm part of isis but you won't get ridiculed as much as you say you're a flat earther. And one thing again, we absolutely know for a fact, this ain't it. Pretty much everyone here though is kind of a conspiracy theorist. I don't see it, that's a common trait. After, you know, many nights of looking at YouTube videos of flat earth and trying to debunk flat earth, um, just ultimately became a flat earther. Every single person I talked to became a flat earther because of YouTube video. His popular YouTube videos and podcasts take clues from the Bible's book of Genesis. One, two, three, we're not crazy! False. You are in fact crazy if you believe in the flat earth disorder. But, you know, we've already proven it wrong. Oh, I know we haven't. Well, we'll play that clip. If you're seeing through this hole, through the next hole, and seeing the light at the backboard or at 17 feet off the water. The Earth is flat. If he's holding it up at 23 feet high and we're seeing the light, well, that's because the Earth's curved. So I, I should only be able to see it when it's at 17 feet. OK, go ahead and drive down there, Enrique. You're going to hold the light there? Enrique, how high is your light? 17 feet. I mean, I, you know, it's his, um, there's, we don't see you, Enrique. Lift up your, lift up your light up, way above your head. Interesting. Fuck, that was easy. How hard was that? Anyway, here's a guy called Mark Sargent. You're kind of the like father of this oh movement. How, how would you? <laughs> don't do You're that. You're the one who sort of started it all. I did not invent flat earth. So I, I decided to do some research. I looked at three different websites. I, I don't know how the rest of you do your research, but I did mine. Here's an estimate. A generous estimate of a million to five million. That's a lot of money. I wonder how we acquired such a wealth. Uh, oh, look at this. Uh, we got a timeline here. There's an Australian former professional rugby league football who played in the 80s and 90s. Oh, my fucking Aussie's responsible for this shit. Can't believe a fucking Aussie's responsible for this shit. <laughs> Fuck, wait, yes I can. Never mind. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, oh, he completed a PhD of public policy at the University of Newcastle. Now, I have absolutely no idea what that means, but luckily, ah, oh, is that what it is? A professional doctorate in public policy and governance. And governance at the, is designed for policymakers seeking leadership roles in public policy development. This degree combines postgraduate coursework, study and advanced policy work with uh, doctoral research. Our professional degree is applied research. Is applied research draws on your real-world policy knowledge and develops your policy leadership expertise and research skills it's it's how to become a cult leader a right? lot of people are going this is this is crazy, crazy right but think about this for the last 20 25 generations this is what we've told people unlike what we've been told in school oh, some sorry, flat what the fuck did he just say hold on but think about this for the last 20 25 generations 25 generations Yeah, uh, well, it kind of just smells like conspiracy soup. And then his put himself at the top of the pyramid. Good hustle. Pretty good hustle.